It's been a week since the last self-publishing news, and boy, do I have some more information. It's going to be a brief one, but there are some hot takes here and some hot information rolling in from various sources. So why don't we see about getting into the self-publishing news, covering things from TikTok blowing up an indie author. Uh, Find a way voices is officially allowing artificial narrated content and written word media just recently rolled out some survey results with indie authors of about 2000 participants. And it's got some pretty inf- int- interesting information, easy for me to say. And uh, I've got some information I want to share with you from a self-publishing expert in Joe Solari here towards the end of this broadcast. Without any further ado, let's get into self-publishing news for December the 11th, 2023. Learn how to publish books and build your author business with award-winning author and self-publishing consultant, Dale L. Roberts. This is the Self-Publishing with Dale podcast. Starting it out here with the very first piece of news. This comes from Yahoo News. Uh, TikTok's hashtag book talk trend literally changed my life. Now, this piece is very interesting. And as with all of the pieces of news that I share here with you, uh, there are links inside the show notes. But let me go ahead and give you the TLDR. Adam Biswick, or Beswick, uh, from Lancashire, found fame on the site of TikTok when he started advertising his books under the hashtag of hashtag book talk. Here's the cool thing is, let me give you the TLDR. It's, he was really kind of struggling for the first couple of years until he decided to go ahead and break it out and over into book talk. Now, he used to work as a full-time nurse. Now he's working as a full-time author based on the success that he got from Book Talk. That is huge. And I've said this so many times before. Video, video, video. If you have the capacity or the yearning to do video marketing for your books, do it. It's worked marvels for me. It's worked marvels for this gentleman, probably better for him because he turned viral because of his exposure through TikTok. The most important thing when it comes to video marketing is just do it and stay consistent with it because that's the thing. You can't just come over and be like, here's my new book, check it out and go buy it and then peace out. Watch the folks that are successful. Watch the videos that are really taking off. So I would recommend that you go over and check out Adam's profile over on TikTok. See what he is doing because you can probably be able to model that same type of approach. No, you don't need to steal his script. No, you don't need to say it exactly as he says it, but think about how he structures his videos because chances are super likely it might resonate with somebody else too. Here is the hot news for the week. This one came by way of Find Away Voices blog, or I should say Find Away Voices by Spotify. We have to add this by Spotify part. They have begun accepting digital voice narrated audiobooks from Google Play Books for distribution to select retail partners. Okay, so let me give you the TLDR on this one as well. Google Play Books earlier in 2023 rolled out the ability to publish artificial intelligence narration, AI narration. Now they call it digital voice, but let's just call it as we see it, it's AI narration is what it is. If you were distributing an ebook through Google Play Books, you would have that capacity to do that. Now, instead of having to go to Google Play Books, you can actually go to Find Away Voices by Spotify and have that same option. But you ready for this? You can actually distribute that AI narrated audiobook to a few other select retailers. Now, you can forget about sending it over to Audible Amazon because they're not accepting that at this point, this point, Um, but they will have other distributors. Now, I'm not entirely sure. They don't fully disclose which ones those are. And to be honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of AI narration. I'd much rather have a human narrating it. That's the part that I'm always going to go to, but I know that paying for a human narrator is not affordable to some people. They can't see investing that. And I totally get it. I understand it. And there are people that are buying AI narrated audiobooks with no issue. Uh, The one thing that you will have to know about this particular article is the fact that they do say they will fully disclose that it is narrated by a digital voice. This audiobook is narrated by a digital voice. This will appear on all listening platforms where the audiobook is distributed. So this is very interesting. Um, 
I'm going to just put on my conspiracy theory hat here for just a second here. <sighs> Apple had set up an agreement back in, I think, 2019 that allowed anybody distributing through Findaway Voices to be training their AI narration model. It was discovered by some folks and boy, it got people a little bit lit up because it was put into this agreement and not everybody reads the agreements. And guess what? I didn't read the agreement all the way and I didn't see this particular thing. And if you wanted to opt out, all you had to do was just ask to be opt out, but they just assumed people would stop and read the agreement. Well, they ended up walking that back, although it's still in the agreement. They said that SAG-AFTRA came in, the organization for actors and, most importantly, voiceover talent, uh, that they kind of came in and were like, no, nah, you can't do that. Stayed in the agreement since. Supposedly, it's not still training AI at all. So, okay, it is what it is. Either way, suspiciously, the marketplace more recently disappeared from find away voices by Spotify. Now one could probably say maybe the infrastructure was just too much for them to maintain. Maybe they were spending a lot of money because there was really no money to be made for find away voices when they were matching up narrators with rights holders. So marketplace just disappears. And then this shows up. Uh, What's going on here? Find away voices. I've not reached out to them for comment for whatever reason. They've lost the love for me. I've tried to reach out to them on numerous occasions and it's been really cold on their end of things. Still love me some find away voices, but I do find this area a little bit suspicious. Again, I got my tinfoil hat on here. It's a bit of a conspiracy theory. It seems like they just wanted to kind of get rid of the marketplace so they didn't have to worry about answering to SAG-AFTRA. And <laughs> that is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Just ask Hollywood about that one. Hey, uh, let's move forward here to some information coming from the fine folks over at Written Word Media. They more recently did a survey with indie authors, about roughly 2,000 indie authors, where they talked about a number of things they an analyzed, from writing and publishing to cover design to AI to KDP select versus wide income, author website, direct sales, audiobooks, marketing, pricing, and more. So... Here's a very interesting, of those 2,000 people, how are they published? They found that over 76% were self-published. Really cool, big shout out to the self-publishing community. Now, the part that I found most interesting was how much people are making in the Kindle Unlimited ones as well. They found the largest differences in KU enrollment by genre. Uh, now, they found that with romance, about 20% of the romance books were not no books in KU whatsoever, whereas a little over 20% was in all in with KU. So very interesting. Go take a look at that stat. And then the other one was the actual income. Uh, bear with me here for just a second. I got to scroll through some of this information here. They talk about how much people pay for professional editors and for book cover design and use of AI in their books, things like that. Um... How much money do authors make? So they actually found, this was pretty interesting, for authors earning between zero and $249 per month, the median number of published titles was five. Five books for people that were making up to $249 per month. For authors earning between $5,000 and $7,500 per month, the median number of published books was 30. Very interesting to hear this. Uh, go through. It's such an in-depth piece. I really think written word media just, they outdid themselves with this particular survey. So take a look at it and take it with a grain of salt because keep in mind, this is only 2000 authors considering that there are hundreds of thousands of authors worldwide that probably didn't take this. I'm sure that those results would probably change just a little bit. All right, let's move a little further forward here from the fine folks over at Vervante Print On Demand Company. They want to let you know that as the festive season quickly approaches, are you wondering if there's still time to get products printed and shipped to your customers? Well, they got you covered. Planners, workbooks, journals, and more. Polyplastic covers for durability. Desktop and wall calendars for every style. Notepads for everyday excellence. They do have a note here. And this is something maybe even if you're not using Vervante, you should probably be aware of. We all love the affordability of media, media mail. By the way, media mail is one of the best ways to ship your books. 
Now, don't throw in a bunch of stickers and like a signed autograph glossy and, you know, your mixtape from 1994. Don't put any of that stuff in there. Media mail should only be that type of media, which is sending out books. So just as a heads up, but love me media ma love me some media mail. Uh, it's how I send a lot of my books to some of my readers. But they wanted to let you know here in Vervante, if you're eyeing a Christmas delivery, we don't recommend shipping via media mail after December the 8th, which it happens to be after December the 8th. After this date, we can't guarantee your products will arrive in time for the holidays. So that's kind of a nice little FY, a little FYI, if you will. So go ahead and make a note of that. All right. Going a little further forward, the fine folks over at Cobra Writing Life are actually going to be hosting a live Q&A with Sarah Cannon. You might know Sarah Cannon from Heart Breathings over on YouTube. She's got a big, massive channel. She was one of my heroes when I came into the YouTube business. But they're going to talk all about planning, prepping, and productivity tips for self-published authors. And Sarah's going to be their guest expert. So I highly recommend go over and subscribe to their channel. They do such a great thing. And big shout out to Tara Kremen over there at Cobra Writing Life. She's a gem. All right, going a little further forward, here is a piece that I would just love to kind of share here with you. It actually comes from Joe Solari. Now, Joe Solari is a former guest here of the podcast, and he is a bit of a self-publishing marketing expert. In fact, more recently, he picked up the reins of 20 Books Vegas and is now rebranding it, rechristening it to Author Nation. And Author Nation is going to be occurring next year, same time that 20 books typically happens. But Joe puts out a weekly email newsletter, and it is every week a deep dive into the world of self-publishing. I mean, very deep. Like, he goes all in on each one of these things. You can sit down and expect to at least spend 10 minutes reading some of his thought-provoking pieces. But this past week, he actually talked about something that I it rings true to my heart. It's the income reports that you'll see. You'll see a lot of income reports, whether in Facebook groups or even YouTube videos, that people will share their income reports. And here's the thing. Joe kind of says the same thing I do, and you want to subscribe to his email newsletter. It, it is a paid email newsletter, but it's so worth it. Um, there is a link to it down inside the description uh, below. As per usual, you can try it out for two months at no cost. It is not an affiliate, by the way. I'm, I'm not being paid to say this. Uh, it is really, really good. Try it out either way. Um, but in it, he kind of talks about how those income reports are great. But how often do you see the person sharing an income report, let's say in the negative, or sharing an income report of the type of niche that they're publishing to, or the marketing that is entailed, or how many hours you're spending in promoting and marketing their book, or how much of a following or a base that they've grown. It is awesome. I think it's great that some people feel comfortable to share their income reports, but you have to temper your expectations with the reality that a lot of these folks that are flexing paychecks of $10,000 per month, either A, are trying to sell you on a course or consulting package, or B, they just wanna be heard. Some people just want to celebrate their victories with other people. Maybe they want to inspire other people. But there is going to be some people out there like me in my early days of self-publishing that I found it very demoralizing. That I found like, oh, I'm not getting $10,000 per month. I must be trash. I felt terrible. It's one of the reasons why I never share income reports. I can sit here and flex my income you know, reports and such like that. But what, what does it get you? I would rather just give you the tools that are necessary to succeed. And Joe really breaks this down and he does it a little bit more diplomatically than I have, um, but it's very insightful. So I highly recommend check out Joe's newsletter. Really good. Well worth it. He's doing a two month free trial at no cost. Give it a shot. And last but not least, hey, if you want to help support the cause and get yourself some access to tons of behind the scenes footage and hours of footage, as well as over a hundred videos that you can't access anywhere, go on over to the one, the only, theselfpublishinghub.com. Again, that's theselfpublishinghub.com for $9.99 per month. You can go ahead and subscribe to my, e my video on demand service where you can get a ton, actually I think seven different video courses as well as other different categories and collections of videos that you can kind of browse at your leisure. And I'm always adding anywhere from about one to two new videos per week. So that is a lot of content that you're 
otherwise getting here in the normal podcast content. What'd you think about the self-publishing news for this week? Was there anything that I particularly missed? I would love to hear from you if you join me on over on the Discord community. That's dalelinks.com slash Discord. Till later, this has been Self-Publishing with Dale and I'll chat with you folks next week. You've been listening to the Self-Publishing with Dale podcast. Visit us at selfpublishingwithdale.com for more information on how you can level up your self-publishing business. Also, check out our growing video-on-demand service, chock full of free and premium content, when you head over to theselfpublishinghub.com. If you enjoyed the show, please consider leaving a review on your preferred podcasting platform. We thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next episode.